Hello everyone, hope you're all doing fine. Let's talk about math module in Python and how to do basic mathematics in Python. So let me go ahead and paste this table that I have for you here. Markdown. Just like in a regular calculator or with a pen and paper, how we do it. Plus symbol adds, minus, subtracts, star multiplies, double star, exponential, that is a to the power of b forward slash division, double forward slash, that is floor division, uh, we will see the difference. And then percentage symbol, that is modulus. Right, so let's do addition. Oh, let me do this. Hmm. I have 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, A, B, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? That is A plus B is 3. Then let's look at subtraction. E minus A is 4, 5 minus 9 is minus 4, 99 minus 11 is 88. Let's look at multiplication. One star two, two star three, E star A. Yep, this is just like regular calculator. Then you have division. Caps. Division is, let's do E by B, 2.5, 5 by 2, 55 by 55 by 2, that is 27.5. Then exponent or power, exponent or power. B star star C. Multiply B by uh, itself C times. That's what it means. Multiply B by itself C times. Yeah. Four star star three. Multiply four by itself three times. Then we have floor division. Two by five. What? Wait, so let's see. Two by five is point four. Floor is it rounds off. It removes whatever that is there after a dot. So zero is the whole number here, so it will take zero. Let's do 44 by 10, 4.4, right? 44 floor division by 10 is four. So that's what floor division gets you. And 15 by four, 15 floor division by four, that is three. Let's uh, have modulo. Then off to modulo. Shift enter. 
x star y get the reminder of x when divided by y right so let's see that nine star five a nine percentage symbol a modulo five is four because that is the reminder right five into one is five and nine minus five is four four is less than five so you can't divide anything i mean if instead of nine if we had ten that is ten modulo five is zero because right reminder then we have operator precedence you might want to know this okay when you want to do multiple mathematical operations you definitely, definitely want to remember it. I do not know any easier way of remembering it. If you know, let me know. So it's Pem Das, uh, as in Prem Das or Adidas. No, Pem Das. Probably that is how you want to remember it. So if you are including all this in one long as function, right? Then this is. Parenthesis will take precedence over exponent and exponent will take precedence over m that is let's say 1 plus 9 minus uh, 88 star 2 something like this right and division six and then I do plus two star star four have you got it well first it performs the what's there in parenthesis 88 star 23 I think let me Eighty-eight star twenty-three. Well, that is for you to calculate. Uh, Eighty-eight star twenty-three, and then go ahead and I'll divide that by six, and then nine minus eighty-eight, right? And then this whole thing. Uh, then this two star star four. This two will be added, and then this will be added. What if I do plus here? Three six three. There you go. Let's look at math module. Math module. Okay, so let's um, go ahead and get a problem first. Calculate the GCD, that is greatest common denominator for any two given numbers yeah here we go um, the first method okay again uh, I know that I have not talked about functions yet so don't worry about uh, don't even like try to remember this or how um, what is recursion here what is a function uh, we are going to cover that later but I just want to show the problem to you and how Python math module will solve it. So my GCD is while b not equal to zero, I'll return my GCD b comma a percentage b else return a, right? So my GCD is forty-five, eighty-five okay loops now there is another way this is recursion recursion is function will run itself so my gcd you know it's running itself like you know till the a condition is met till this while condition is met loops Again, don't worry about it for now. We will talk about that later. My 
define my GCD and a comma B. So I'm going to define small minimum a B here for I in range one small plus one right if a percentage i equals zero and b modulus i zero gcd is i again don't worry about it if this function the whole thing is confusing i just wanna i'm trying to show you a problem now not a solution okay I mean, this is actually a solution, but you know, the way of getting it is harder than what I'm going to show you next. So, welcome, welcome to math module code markdown shift enter math dot forty five eighty five uh, math dot gcd. 4585. Hmm, I didn't import math. I'm sorry, import math. Math dot GCD 4585 is 5. Right, so you don't have to write this function. You don't have to write this function. You want to perform some um, not so basic, more than basic. Uh, mathematical functions, activities, you do this way. Then you ha also have, apart from the math module itself, you have absolute ABS, that is minus 5.55, 5.55, uh, ABS 5.55. It gives you the absolute value. Then you have math.ceil. This is interesting, 3.1. It gives you the same thing, math.ceil. 3.2 gives you the same thing, math.ceil. 3.5 gives you the same thing, math.ceil, that is ceiling. 3.9 gives you the same thing. So what's the matter with it? What it does do is if you, it calculates a ceiling value of the given float. 3.x, right? What about this, math.ceil, 3.0? So, 3.0 is equal to 3, so ceiling value will be 3. So the after dot, if you don't, ha if you have anything other than 0, so it will push that to the nearest whole number, that is uh, after 3.0, it comes 3.1. So 3.1 to 3.9, whatever, 3.1, 2.3, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, till 3.9, all are closer. Uh, the closest whole number on top is 4, that is ceiling number. Then you have math.floor. Right, math dot floor, three point one, yeah, three point two, three point five is three, three point nine. You got it, three, right? So that is what you have. Math, math dot floor provides. The first smaller integer of the given number, math dot ceil provides the first bigger integer of the given number. Double space, double space. Mm, let me. Oops, tick mark, tick mark, tick mark, tick mark, code to mark down. There you go. Then let's, what about round? Then we have round 3.142 is 2. What did it do? It rounded off this number to two positions after the dot. So 
round x comma y rounds up a number x to the length y from the decimal point then there is another one similar one but not exactly used in mathematics point 2 f right dot format 3 3.142 same as above but it returns a string so what basically I'm telling to Python is I'm going to give you some number so after the point format it to two positions so two format right so that's what it means so you want to know more what all this gem of a module Python has or math has in it then you go ahead and look at it you will have all the R not all but most of the high school mathematics that you deal with calculus uh, those kind of things you can do it but if you want a lot more than this then you can look at uh, some data science modules like numpy and scipy they will absolutely be able to help you with it you can also do this directory math yeah if you just want to know what they are and then you can use them and explore them okay so let's look at math.py we all know this format math.py to what point uh, 12 g yeah? so what happens here hmm. let's uh, interrupt 12 let's do 4 g 3.142 okay so even if you do to 12 right so here it says 5359 5359 so it was 8 9 right 8 9 is closer to 9 or I mean 9 0 so what it did is it grounded it grounded that number to or rounded off or grounded that number to 9 so instead of five eight nine seven nine three, see eight nine seven nine three. So it did nine. If it was five eight uh, one, right? Then it would have been probably five eight. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, check that out. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Right. Control C. I'm gonna do format. Number right, so here I am going to do five one. See what happened here? It just did three five two because one nine seven nine three, right? It rounded off that number to two. So that's how it works. Um, let's look at another one instead of um, giving G. Let me do this format math.py to comma 0.4. What happened here? So that total it did 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four numbers. It formatted the entire thing to just four elements. Then we have let's. Um, format math.py in quotation point 3f same thing right so point 3f point 4 then you have point 4g different ways of doing these things we can look at directory float if you want to explore what all is there in float math.py is a float value just as bonus, I'm not bored yet, so let's do another one. 3.142 dot hex. You want to convert some stuff to hexadecimal, right? So float dot hex um, provides hexadecimal value of a given float. Here you go. So if you want to explore more, then you have all these other things, but I would usually reserve exploring unless and until there is a need to know especially when you are starting off with python 
um, you study or you try to know, explore only those things which are on a need to know basis. If you come across a problem, solve it. So pick up a problem. Uh, so whatever that's required to solve it, explore that one. So thank you for tuning in. Have a great one. Take care.